Disgraced Empire actor Jesse Smollett has been slammed on Saturday Night Live after he was arrested for allegedly faking a racist and homophobic attack. SNL took on the scandal in a Shark Tank parody sketch starring Chris Redd as Smollett. In the Shark Tank, legal edition sketch, several controversial legal names listen as scandal plagued guests gave pitches as to why they deserved representation. Red Smollett was one of the guests to come before the panel that included Michael Abenetti, Pete Davidson, Janine Pirro, Cecily Strong, Helen Dershowitz, John Mulani, and Rudy Giuliani, Kate McKinnon. I was just attacked outside the studio by Donald Trump himself, Red Smollett immediately declared as he appeared in front of the Sharks. The panel responded, saying, Jussie, is that true? The actor then questioned if there were cameras outside. When informed there were cameras outside that would have recorded the attack, Red Smollett backtracked saying then no, it is not. The panel then asked Smollett why he asking for representation. I broke humanity but if you take my case, I'm offering spoilers for next season of Empire. I died. I died it out strong Spiro responded, wow, a game, black man lying about an attack, I wrote Fox News fan fiction about this but I never thought it would come true. I'm recusing myself. Cause I'm just too turned on. Meanwhile, Mulani's Dershowitz said, Jussie, you have everything I love in a client. You're famous, you're probably guilty. End of list. Smollett has been charged with a single felony count of filing a false police report. Police have said the actor paid two Nigerian brothers, Abel and Ola Asundaro, to attack him on January 29th in what was billed as a hate crime. Smollett told Chicago police officers that his attackers, who were masked and whose faces he could not see, called him a FT, and R and shouted, this is mega country. Another guest to appear on the parody Shark Tank was New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft played by Beck Bennett. Kraft has pleaded not guilty to two counts of misdemeanor solicitation of prostitution. He was among hundreds of men charged in a crackdown on massage parlor prostitution in an investigation into human trafficking at Florida spots. Sharks I am currently in some hot water over an accusation I went to a day spot in Florida and got what turned out to be a not-so-happy ending, Bennett's craft said. I'm also the only person to ever take a private jet straight to a $59 hand job. I am seeking an attorney who will make sure no one sees the video of my 77-year-old pigskin getting tossed around. Dot Davidson's avidity followed up with a beaded joke. Dot meanwhile, Strong Spiro said the real criminal was the immigrant woman that stole that job from a soft, white American hand.